Hi, welcome. My name is Allison. Join me for this um, soothing joints, soothing your joints session. This is a little practice that will have your body start to move joint fluid through your joints so they'll be less creaky and achy um, throughout your day. And also you'll move a little smoother and, um, and this asks your body to produce more joint fluid too. So. Okay, so let's begin by standing tall and pointing all 10 toes forward. And I want you to feel your body a little bit loose, like not so tight and stiff. But there is a little bend in the knee. And there's looseness in the joints. And start to breathe in and out of your nose. Slow and smooth in and slow and smooth out. And really that's the most important part. So have fun with the rest of it. Nice and simple, turning the head all the way to the right and all the way to the left. And we're gonna go slow as we move and repeat three times each side. Now tilting to the right and tilting to the left. Make sure you don't drag your shoulder up towards your ear with you. Just let it be a nice, gentle, soft tilt. And now taking the chin all the way into the chest, try to squeeze it in and touch the skin of the chin to the skin of the chest, and then lift the chin all the way to the ceiling three times each. Keep breathing. I know you're already enjoying this. I'm going to start with the wrists now, circles. And we're going to repeat these nice, slow, articular movements nine times each. And you don't need to count. I'll cue you when it's time to reverse. Let's reverse. And we're going to do some shoulder next. So big, big shoulder circles nine times in each direction. You'll see I'm kind of twisting a little bit. I'm just, I'm not really twisting on purpose. I'm just allowing my body to follow the shoulder and I'm not holding anything tight. So again, we want a nice, nice kind of looser movement here. Let's reverse it. Keep breathing in and out of the nose. Feeling fantastic. Okay, here we go. Second shoulder, second side. Reversing. Nice and slow. Stay with it. All right, fantastic. All right, next are the elbows. Making some circles here. And reverse. All right, next is the back. And so we're gonna take the shoulders and move the shoulders around the back. So imagine your shoulders go around, making a circle around the hips. And you'll get this nice kind of 
folding sensation in your shoulders and back. This one's rather fun. So enjoy it. We're going the other way now. These movements are originally from Tai Chi. This is kind of how we warm up in Tai Chi. Hips. Here we go. Like you're scraping out the inside of a peanut butter jar. Big hula hoops. Nine times in one direction and then nine times in the other. And even though this is not a whole a stressful um, movement practice, this is quite good for, for your joints. Taking the knees together, taking the feet together, and we're going to circle the knees around the ankles. Make sure that the insides of your knees touch and the insides of your feet are also kissing. We want to make sure our alignment is good here. The knees can be particularly, um, let's say this can be t beneficial for the knees perhaps a, a great deal because your knees are a synovial joint, which means they are super reliant on joint fluid. All right, let's do the ankles. We're going to take the right one and the ankle moves around the toes here. Toes are stuck to the ground nine times in one direction, nine times in the other. This practice is a super good way to juice your joints, especially if you have creaky or achy joints. And if you also want to prevent that, which, hello, <laughs> I think maybe we all do. This is a nice little practice to add to your repertoire. So keep moving, keep grooving, and have a great time. Let me know how this goes in the comments. And I, will see. my name is Allison. I work with dancers, athletes, and committed human beings, people who are committed to their health, their mobility and strength, and we maximize their human potential. Hit subscribe and follow along. Until I see you next, take really good care.